Hey guys, it's Tasha, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I've got the new Cosmic Brushes collection to talk about. I have the Delicious Delights eyeshadow palette and I have the Frosting Highlighter palette. Now I've not swatched these, I haven't touched them, I've just kind of lovingly gazed at the shades. But I'm really excited to get into these and play with them and see if the formula is just as good as the other Cosmic Brushes shadow palettes. So I purchased these about a week ago and received them on the weekend. So it wasn't too long to wait. So let me show you the inside of the palette. It's so beautiful. So this is what we get to play with today. So here is the inside of the frosting palette as well. Just beautiful coloured highlighters. I'm so excited to play with these. I'm going to show you some swatches now from after I filmed this. This is a 20 colour palette with 6 metallic shimmers and 14 mattes. Three of the shimmers are duochrome and one of those is an iridescent duochrome. And there is one high shine fold multichrome, which is sprinkles, I believe. Create soft dreamy pastel looks or go vibrant with stunning electric shades. So I think I'm going to do a generic tash thing and go with like the purples, the pinks and the minty shades for the first look. I am going to be doing a second look with this as well, so hold on for that. So first things first, I wanna use, um, oh, also, if you're interested in anything that's on my face, I'll be linking it down below. So check that out in the description box. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyes. I know, very 2016, but it works for me and it keeps my shadows on all day. Um, you can see I've got quite a big dip in it right now. So one of the reasons I love this primer is it not only does it make the shadows last all day, but it also gets rid of all that discoloration on my eyes and veining. So let me zoom you in a little bit closer and we'll get into the first look. So the first shade I'm going to dip into is this shade here called Jelly Bean and this is going to go into the outer corner. So I'm just using my E25 to place this colour in the outer corner from Sigma. So I want it on the outer corner of the lid and then going up into the crease as well. I'm going to place that shade there first, just using stamping motions, and then we'll blend out the edges. I'm hardly getting any fallout, which is nice. Not that I mind fallout as long as the shades are good, but I know some people are bothered by that, so I thought I'd mention that. So far with this shade, hardly any fallout. So I think I'm going to leave it there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Zoeva 227 brush, and I'm going to take this pink here and place it next to that purple shade, just in the crease. Because I want to play with some of these shimmers. I am a shimmer lover, so it's so nicely with that purple shade. And again, when I tap off my brush, I'm not really getting any fallout, so that's amazing. I'm just going to build this up a bit. And then with that same brush, I'm actually going to take that same pink shade, and I'm going to blend out the edges of this purple. I'm taking a Real Techniques brush, I'm not sure of the name unfortunately, it's all rubbed off, it's quite an old brush, but it's just like a fluffy blending brush. I am going to take the shade Minty, this one right here, I'm really excited about this, and I'm going to put that all on the inner part of the crease. So far I'm really impressed with the pastel formula, even though I haven't swatched these yet, although you'll have seen swatches by now, um, I'm really impressed with it. It doesn't seem more powdery and chalky and I'm not having to really layer it up to get it on. So I'm going to take that right into my inner corner just there. So the next thing I'm going to do is take that same brush and I'm basically going to place the same three colours underneath my lash line. These shades are blending so well together. I'm really impressed so far. I'm going to take the 237 Detail Shader Brush by Zoeva and I love using this with shimmers. And some MAC Fix Plus Spray. Blah, blah, blah and some MAC Fix Plus Spray and I'm going to take the shade what am I going to do? I think I'm going to use Fizzy first, this mint shade just here oh wow guys this is so pretty, I'm so excited it's, it's, I know I've got the Natasha Denona Pastel palette but this is a completely different colour story to that It's it's like ice cream colours. A palette I had similar to this was that Sigma one that I had in my declutter, which I forget the name of, but it was that old pastel palette that um, Leisha from X-Barkage adored, and I decluttered that. So I didn't think it was it performed that great. I suppose maybe for the time it was good, but I feel like formulas are common a lot since then, especially for pastel shades. This is incredible though. I'm loving the names of these shades as well. It's making me hungry though. Um, I'm gonna use the shade Candy Floss. 
on the middle part of my lid. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm not sure if this is going to work because I've only tried it with two eyeliners, but I've really enjoyed using different coloured eyeliners at the same time on my waterline. And I've just got three corresponding shades. These are from Colourpop. These are their new creme gel liners. Well, they're newly uh, formulated creme gel liners. They did have them before. I'm not sure what the old formula was like. These claim they have 18 hour wear. Um, I don't find that to be true. I find like after a few hours they do rub off. They do tend to um, fade off my waterline. They may have an 18 hour wear on your lower lash line and top lash line, but on the waterline I just find that they don't last that long. But I do have watery eyes, so that could be the reason why. So firstly, I'm going to take Plum Smash and just put that into the outer corner. Then I'm going to take this pink shade, it's called Amethyst something, I can't quite tell what the second word is. But I will link it down below for you. And then we're going to take the shade Icebreaker and put that on in the inner corner. An icebreaker just broke on me but luckily I managed to um, do my eyes first. But that's what the eyeliners look like. I just think it's such a pretty effect. Then I'm just going to add some mascara and this is the Elf Lash and Roll mascara which is okay. I wouldn't purchase it again. It's okay for length although I have quite long lashes anyway. Like, well, pretty good lashes. But volume isn't really there with this mascara so if you're looking for a bit more volume I don't think this will be the mascara for you. We're going to use it anyway because it's open and I want to finish it. Okay so that's the finished eye look guys and then we're going to move on to the frosting palette and I think for the inner corner we're going to go into golden apple just to complement that mint shade. And again I'm taking a Real Techniques brush this is like a slanted blendy brush but I love using it for the inner corner we're just going to take that and place that in there it's so pretty it really complements the mint oh I love it I love a coloured highlighter guys and then I'm going to use this highlighter in the middle called cinnamon swell just to highlight my cheeks now this does have glitters in it like small glitters so if you're not a fan of that then you might not like this highlighter palette. They kind of remind me of the Kaleidos highlighters. They've got quite a bit of glitters in them as well. The way it looks on my skin just reminds me of how the Kaleidos highlighters look, which I'm not mad about at all. Okay guys, so we are finished with my first look. Let's move on to my second. So for my second look, I think I'm gonna take Charms and Zoeva 232 Lux Classic Shader. And I'm just gonna place that on my lid. There's a little bit of um, fallout with this shade when I tap off my brush, but it's not translating to the face, so that's okay. Probably because I tapped my brush off, obviously. And this doesn't have to be really tidy or anything because I'm going to blend it with other shades. So at the moment, I'm just stamping it on to get the most pigmentation. Then with my Sigma E25, I'm going to take that shade. Jelly bean, and I'm going to start blending that into the crease. And then with that same brush, I'm going to take the shade Milkshake. I'm just going to start blending on top of Jelly Bean, just on the outer corner. And I'm taking it quite far up to the brow. I like that. If you don't like that, you don't have to do that. That's gone on really nicely. What I want to do now is just take a blending brush with nothing on it and just soften those edges. I think this is a Sigma E40. I'm taking that same milkshake shade and I'm going to blend it on my lower lash line. I'm just going to blend it up to this outer corner of the crease just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Now I'm not sure whether to use frosting or sprinkles on my eyelid. I think I'm going to use frosting on the lower lash line and risk it with sprinkles on the eyelid, maybe just in the centre. I'm not sure, this could go terribly wrong. But. So I'm just gonna place frosting on the centre of my lower lash line. 
I would use my fingers but my nails are really grown out I'm getting them done today so that's exciting I just want to add something to the lower lash line that's really pretty, it catches the light in the middle, it's really nice. Then I'm going to take Sprinkles, which is the multi-chrome, and I'm going to place that in the centre of the eye. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. And I'm placing the majority of the shade right in the centre, and then I'm tapping outwards on both sides. And then something I like to do is just wiggle my brush down both sides of where I'm blending just so it blends those shades in even more. That's such a beautiful multi-chrome. It's just some, like a green gold to a pink to a purple. So I feel like it's actually really nice for this look. Now, all I will say about that shade is it is really, really soft. So when I tap my brush in, it does leave quite a big dent in the shadow. So just be aware of that. Like if you're gonna use your finger or a brush, just tap gently because it is a really soft shade. And I'm gonna take my favorite inner corner blending brush and Real Techniques. And I'm going to take, I was going between the green and the white, but I quite like the green for this look. So I'm going to go with Zesty in the inner corner and hope that this works. It should tie in with that multi-chrome quite nicely because it does have a green shift to it. If you don't like colourful inner corners, you could always go for the white. There's a matte white and a shimmery white in here and I think both would look incredible with this look. The shimmery white is a, like a duochrome, so it shifts like a pinky purple shade, so that's really nice. But I'm going to take that purple liner I used last time in um, Plum Smash and I'm just going to line my waterline. Okay, I'm lying. I decided I wanted something a bit darker than Plum Smash. So I'm going to go with this bluey shade called Outer Space. It's like a black and blue. It's really pretty and I think this will go really well with the look. Then I'm just going to take the Sigma Flat Definer brush and smudge that underneath the lower lash line just slightly then we're going to apply that same mascara the elf what's this called i always forget is it lash and roll yeah i always get it confused with the benefit mascara they're trying to do so okay so what you didn't see was me poking my eye out with a mascara one and getting mascara everywhere so i've just had to redo this eye hopefully it looks okay ish Lastly, I'm going to use a highlighter and I'm going to use a Blueberry Muffin, which is the shade that I haven't used yet. This has been swatched. Again, these are extremely soft. I'll talk about that in a minute. So just beware when you put your brush or your finger in to swatch. And again, like I said, this does have micro glitters. So if you're not into micro glitters, I would avoid this. But this is, this is even better than the pink shade, Cinnamon, Cinnamon Swell. Cinnamon as well was nice, it was more of a lighter highlighter in my opinion, like you didn't get as much glow. But this one's stunning. I hope the camera's picking it up. Okay guys, here is the final look. Please focus on this eye more than this eye because I feel like this one looks a mess now. And I've got to go out as well, I've got to get my nails done. Never mind. So let's talk about the palette first off. I love this palette, I think it's beautiful, the shades inside are just, so far, what I've played with is stunning. I can't say that all of them are great because I haven't played with all of them. I might do like a TikTok shorts or um, a reel using this. One thing I will say is a couple of the shimmers are very soft, so like this shade here, sprinkles, like if you place your hand, your finger in there to swatch it, or if you place a brush in like I did this morning, you are going to get a bit of a dent, so just be careful with those. I'd rather a softer shadow that dent slightly than one that's really hard pressed and you can't pick up or get any pigment out of it. I hardly got any um, kick up out of the pan. I did with this shade here called Charms, but it's a deep shade, it's a dark purple, so I kind of expected a bit of kick up, but I didn't get any fallout on my face because I, I tapped my brush off, so it's easily solved. As for the highlighter palette, again, these shades are really soft. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's dents in them from where I swatched them yesterday and from where I placed my brush in, but other than that, like, so just be really light-handed with these. I just think this is a really beautiful highlighter palette. This shade here is beautiful, but it's not in your face. So if you like a really in-your-face highlighter, which I do most days, then you're probably going to like the other two shades more. At the moment, I don't really have any complaints. Just a couple of things, like the softness of the shimmer shades and the highlighters, but it's easily solved if you're light-handed. If you're in love with pastel shades and rainbow shades like I am, then I think you'll love these. Anyway guys, I'm going to do a quick outro because I'm nearly late for my nail appointment, so I'm going to go have some breakfast and get out of the door. <laughs> I also want to say thank you to all the people that have subscribed recently, it really means a lot to me. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos like this. There are more declutters coming up. I'm going to do a highlighter decluster soon. Um, so if you're interested in that, then stay tuned, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon.